Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody is having a great day. I hope that you are enjoying your summer as we are drawing close to an end. And yes, I do know that summer doesn't end until September, but for me, um, I have about two more weeks uh, off and then we start right back to school. So looking forward to that. I um, don't really do great with downtime and I love my kiddos. So I'm excited to get back to work. But anyway, I have a fun video today for you guys. This is my husband's birthday week. So we have been doing lots of fun things that, you know, whatever he wants to do. And one of the things that he is just as addicted to, my Halo Grace is up here beside me. She's acting like a fool. Is he likes to go treasure hunting just like I do. So that's some of the things that he's wanted to do. So in this video, I'm going to insert some pictures of some things that we did. The other day we went to Bell Buckle, Tennessee, which is just this cute, very um, mix between Mayberry and Gilmore Girls little town. Um, super, super quaint, sweet. They have, we had some of the best food we've had in a long time. And so we spent the day there just kind of going to some of their little antique shops. Um, I think they had about four, maybe. Um, so we did that. And of course, we hit the thrift stores. And this morning, I sort of messed up. Um, I We have been planning on going to the Nashville flea market um, bright and early, getting there at 8 o'clock on Friday because we have this one vendor there that we really, really like. And I agreed to kind of go help do some interviews. So, because I just wasn't thinking my days got, you know, messed my days up. And uh, so we had to rush through the flea market. So, you know, that was kind of um, a bummer, but we still managed to fill our little cart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a haul just from the past few days of things that we've done. And then I'm going to add pictures of the way I've styled it. Instead of doing like a home, another like room by room tour, I'm just gonna insert pictures of the things that I've styled. Now, some of the things that I've showed in my past hauls and today, um, you won't see because they're like seasonally purchased. Like I've bought some things for Christmas and some things for fall and um, even some things for next spring. So if you don't see it, stay, you know, just stay tuned because you'll eventually see it. So. I'm gonna start with um, some of the things we got in Bell Buckle. We got, um, let's see, I said that. We didn't buy a lot in Bell Buckle, to be honest. Um, one thing that we, we did, it's a smaller town. Actually, ah, we did buy a few things that I've already like packed away because they're for the 4th of July. I bought two, I'll just tell you, I bought two old Pepsi bottles. I thought those would be really cute to put like flags in um, and mix with the, you know, and they have the red, white, and blue. Now, I'm a Coke drinker, but I liked the red, white, and blue. I bought um, a small Wexford canister because I've got, I think, the medium size one, but you sometimes you just got to get those, like I've said, pick it up, you know, as you find it. Uh, let's see. We bought, um, hmm, Oh, a couple little vintage cosmetic things, which I'm gonna insert a picture of that in my, uh, at the end of the video, and I put them on my washstand. And I'm sorry, guys, I forgot all about that. Do you ever just like, you know, as you're out thrifting and hunting, just kind of black out because you really get too many things, like maybe you find a great deal and you get so much you don't even remember what all you have? Well, that happened to me. So, after that, <laughs> After, that was at the, the antique mall in Bell Buckle. So then we went um, just some little strip. They have like this little strip center. So we went to um, into some of those stores. And one of them was like a primitive store. But I'm just going to tell you, it's definitely fun to go to, walk around and look at the stuff. It is packed so full. Like, I would be willing to bet a paycheck that that store owner has no idea what all is in their store. It, there is just, it's just stuff everywhere and on shelves and like deep shelves and like who knows what all's in there. But it was also high as cat's back. Um, and like the way that you have to check out was so odd to me. Um, I, I don't want to tell you because I don't want um, to take advantage of their trust in their small town. But 
it was an, going there was interesting. And if you do, if you are in Middle Tennessee and you're, you know, just driving through and killing time and looking for places to visit, Bell Buckle is a place to go. But I did buy one thing from him. I was very excited to see this. And yes, I said, I, I know it was Greg's birthday week, but um, we share our weeks. <laughs> so I did find another flower frog, um, an oval one. He had just walked by and there was like a whole little section of them. They had the metal ones um, and the glass ones. And this is why I can't find any. This guy's buying them all. Now he paid a dollar for this. Um, at whatever yard sale or estate sale or whatever he got. I did not pay a dollar for this, but they are so hard to find that Greg was actually the one that was like, get it. Um, I know you're having a hard time finding them. And I will tell you that um, what I paid is cheaper than what they're selling them for online. So I feel like that is all that we bought in Bell Buckle were the few little things that I've already put away in this. Um, but later that day, we did go to Halsbrook, Halsbrook in um, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And that is an antique mall. And we did make a couple of little small purchases with that. One thing I'm gonna show you, um, I'm probably gonna do like, I may insert my front porch. I had a um, blanket ladder that I used to display and with all the pieces of furniture that we've got, I just really didn't have anywhere to put it. So I decided to put it on the corner in my porch. I may have told y'all this last time because I watched little Chahaba Junkin, not Chahaba, oh my gosh. I am so sorry, it's not like she's gonna watch my videos. She's like a huge YouTuber. Um, little Chahaba Junkin and uh, her name is Kayla and her aunt is Penny and they go out and they go Junkin is what they call it. Um, and they both do these really amazing little scenes on their front porch. Now I've always decorated my front porch, but just not to the extent that they do. So I decided to kind of play off of some of their stuff. I took my blanket ladder out there and I have it sort of decorated. So I will show you guys that, um, hubby's coming in from working in the yard. But anyway, so one thing that I've been looking for is thermoses. They have a lot and they kind of use them seasonally. I thought that was a cool idea. So we did find there um there's this booth in Housebrook. it's called she's crafty crafty she's probably my favorite vendor there she typically has a lot of ironstone um and uh just different like pieces that are more my style so we found this thermos i'm going to use this for christmas so you won't see this again till then but um i thought this would be cool to kind of set up on my front porch like a um, I have a, I think I had mentioned on one of the videos, I have like an old sled and ice skate. So I thought I could use that ladder to make like a warming station, like a cocoa station. So um, that'll be really cute. I'll have to see how that turns out. So I found this and this was um, $12, but I was excited to get this. And if you remember from my last haul, I had found the cream and thermos with the, um, red lid it was five dollars so this one was a little bit more but this one is big so and that's lucy i'm not sure who she's greeting i've got it all right here y'all and i'm tired so i'm sitting down also at housebrook greg found in the um, westmoreland harvest pattern he found the creamer and sugar that go with his milk glass so he was tickled to get that. This, we don't know, it was marked $8, but we bought this and another item, and um, I don't even remember what we got now, but, oh, the thermos. So our total was, this This had to have been on some kind of, it had to have been cheaper than $8. So for the set for $8, that was pretty good. And also from She's Crafty Crafty, uh, like, I don't know, this is, honestly don't think this is ironstone um it says it's mikasa but it was made in japan and so she had this little creamer and sugar set and i don't care if it was ironstone or not because i love the craisin on it and the discoloration i mean and it's just oh i don't really have a good place to put it um for right now it's just kind of stuck it in that jelly hutch that i have in my dining room but I love this pattern. And when I saw this um, craze like that, and it was like for the set, eight 
eight or nine dollars. I don't remember which, but I grabbed that. Again, yes, it was Greg's birthday, but it's okay. I'll, I'll celebrate with him. Um, let's see. Before I get into today, what we did today, also from my TJ's Antiques and Collectibles in Smyrna, I found this little picture, and I'm pretty sure I haven't showed you. I didn't just, I got this last week, I think. Um, but I had styled it right away. So I have two sisters, and I saw this, and I just had to have it. You know what, let me turn my TV off because there's a big old glare. Got it on YouTube, watching my YouTubers this morning. Or it's not even morning, it's afternoon, but anyway. I don't know if you can, trying to get across all the glares. What is that? Is that a show in my dining room? Um, it's three ladies that I'm gonna pretend are sisters and they are all wearing black. So I don't know if this is a morning photograph, you know, like they were in morning or something, but I had to grab it because I thought it represented me and my two sisters. But the cool story about this is the, um, the lady, the vendor got those dresses. So not only was she able to purchase this picture, but she purchased their dresses. And they had it set up in a booth for Halloween. They had put these dresses on these mannequins and um, had it set for like in a Halloween vignette. She sold the dresses and mannequins and hats and boots and she, everything she put on it just almost immediately. And I offered, you know, I was like, well, let them know there's a picture and I won't get this and they might want to buy the picture, but they just like, I go in there all the time. And so Miss Sue was, you know, like, just take it. No, it's fine. But anyway, I love that. Um, I have that in my dining room and I'll show you where I have it. I also bought, um, from the same vendor. Oh, that's Taryn. Um, she had a lot of ephemera. And so I bought this old, um, advertisement for this is the original carriage of George Washington valued at $10,000 um, and it says it's the same one exhibited at the Philadelphia Centennial in 1876 but the company is Buckeye Buggy Company from Columbus Ohio and it says 1888 so this advertisement was published in 1888 I love that they're using old George for one of their selling points. And on the other side, um, it's, I can't read that, but manufacturers of fine vehicles. So I love that. I grabbed that up and I just kind of have it sitting in a flower frog and you can see how fragile it is. Oh, it's just, I'm going to have to really be careful with this. Um, but I loved this. This was $10, which I know is a lot to pay, but I just, I splurged. I had to have it. I like old George. I like that he's on my Liberty Blue. Um, I like all that stuff. So this morning we went to the flea market and we have the one vendor there. I think I've talked about him. I'm not really sure where it just, he has about, I'm guessing maybe 20 rows of totes that may be like 15 rows or more deep full of totes. So it's just, you know, a big old rectangle and you just go down these rows of all these totes. He just opens the lid and you, um, you just dig and stuff's wrapped in paper. Some stuff's not wrapped in paper. So you have to unwrap things and look at it. Sometimes it has standing water in it. Um, some, I mean, it all smells. <laughs> Sometimes things are like books are wet. I've never really bought books from him. Um, you know, whatever, if he has fabric or stuffed down, whatever, it's typically wet or so, you know, you do have to, there is that downfall, but he has some of the best prices. We love going to him. He's the first vendor that we go to. So I'm going to show you all the things that we, and some things may not be in order because we did go to a few other vendors. Um, but I spent, I'm gonna to try to just, just focus on the things I got from him because I, you're not gonna believe how little I spent. Here, let me see if I can get to the things that he did. I should have gone through this, but I didn't because y'all know me and I'm kind of a hot mess. 
So one thing that we got was um, three sets of these and they came in, they're like bundled three together. So we got nine. Um, and this was the second time when we were leaving, we went back to him and uh, he's just a sweetheart and we do so much business with him that I had, and I try to just spend cash because, you know, I try to try, I pretend that I'm on a budget, but um, he was like, well, if you find something you want, you got credit with me. Well, I didn't do that, but, um, you know, I made sure that we sort of kept, you know, with what we had, but I got Greg. Let me rephrase this. Greg got these milk glass coffee cups. These are not teacups. We have the teacups, but I told him I really felt like these were coffee cups. So we got nine of these. Y'all know Greg loves his milk glass. And again, I don't not like milk glass. Um, I do like milk glass. I don't like it as well as Greg did. He also got this little hobnail dish. Now you see what I'm talking about, how nasty some of that stuff is. Um, and this matches another piece of hobnail that he has with the little scalloped edges. I'm not really sure what piece he's talking about, but um, I do like the hobnail. I will say that I like the hobnail a lot better than the Westmoreland harvest pattern. Um, but you know, it's fine, whatever. I'm glad he likes it. You know what? There are worse things that your husband can be out doing. I will tell you that he is a good man. He gets up, he goes to work. He never misses work. Um, and he, you know, he's home and when he's at home, he takes care of the yard because Lord knows I'm not going to, I'm not a, not a yard person. So you can't ask for a better one. So if he wants to collect milk glass, he can collect milk glass. He's also been on the hunt for the milk glass spice bottles. Now we have seen them at um, Housebrook and Murfreesboro. Um, they're about, right now they're on sale. So like $5 and some change. Uh, but we went ahead and grabbed one from our guy because like I said, the more you buy for him, from him, we've kind of noticed the the cheaper your value is, or cheaper your total is. So we have one now. Um, he really only wants about six. So five more to go. We may get that from Housebrook. I'm not really sure. Um, let's see, he was the first guy we stopped at. So let me kind of dig around just a little bit to try to um, get to his things. Cause like I said, I want to tell you the total that we spent with him. Cause I think you're going to get in your car and you're probably going to um, come to Tennessee and want to know exactly which vendor that I am at talking about. Okay, so like I said, it was Greg's birthday week. So he got this milk glass face. Now he doesn't have this one. And so what this means is we'll now be on the hunt for another one because he likes to have two of things. So that's kind of the star pattern, I guess. Maybe it's pretty. Um, I'm creating such a mess, that's okay. He also got, now I've never seen this one, this little milk glass vase. Um, it's not marked, but it has, I don't know if you can see because of the glare, but there's little stars. So I, of course, immediately thought, oh, I can stick something red and blue in that for the 4th of July. That'll be great. I know you can't see the stars, but I've never seen this pattern at all in milk glass. I got a wild hair and decided that next summer I want to decorate just a little small vignette, nothing big, but I want to decorate with some baseballs, like with the Pepsi bottles and the flags, you know, very, um, summer, just perfect American summer. So I passed up on one of these at a thrift store, but I'm glad I did because I got this from our vendor, our guy at the flea market. So I got this baseball mitt. Um, I don't know much about baseball. Uh, then you hit the ball with the bat. So it's a Rawlings, I think. Uh, I know that sometimes these can be a lot of money, but this was just old and very loved and used. And so it was perfect. So I'm not sure. I'll somehow style that with some baseballs and some flags for next summer. So that's gonna be cute and exciting. And of course, I got another baseball. Now I found for Christmas, another brass horn. 
I had um, seen one at a thrift store. You know, I got one on our road trip and then I had seen one at a thrift store for $8 and I only paid uh, two or three bucks for the one that I had. So I was not gonna pay a lot of money. So um, when we saw this, Greg, snatched, he actually saw it. He snatched it up for me. Keep in mind, we are still with the same vendor. I got this old brush and I'm not really sure. I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do for this. So if you don't see it in the pictures that I post of the way I style things, that means I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. But we got to have our own little store, right? We've got to have things where we get bored. We can go pull things and change. I got this amber bottle, vinegar oil bottle. I thought this would be really pretty for the fall because I don't know if you remember, but in my kitchen, I sort of have a little collection of these bottles that's gotten out of hand. Um, I don't know why I keep grabbing those. <laughs> because here is another one and this one was etched and I absolutely love etched glass and I actually have this pattern right here in, um, some more clear dishes. I'll have to, I think I have the glasses maybe. Well, that's kind of cool now that I look at it. So I have this one. Um, it'll probably go up in my window with the others if it'll fit. I don't know if it's gonna fit. I got two spools of thread um, to go with the sewing drawers that I purchased from, where did I purchase those from? Um, whenever we went out last week up in Springfield, the antiques on 112 maybe. Um, so I got these for those drawers. Now I don't sew, y'all. I can darn and I can sew a button on and that's about it. But I will show you this cute little sewing station that I have set up. And I thought these would be, first of all, good filler because, you know, I need, I don't have a lot of stuff. But these came from that same guy. I thought this would be pretty for the fall. And of course, black can be used anytime. Now, I have been trying to find these all over Etsy, all over Poshmark, Macari. Um, I didn't get the exact ones that I wanted, but still considering that this was a whole box full, it's 144. Um, and for the, I did find some in Bell Buckle, but they didn't have the words that I wanted. So, and they were $3 a piece. But anyway, I got this whole box of sight word cards. Now, just being that I am in education, I can tell you that these are probably vintage. Um, these are not new by any means. I don't know if they're quite 20 years old. They, I, I feel like they are though. I can kind of just look at the box and, and kind of tell just based off of um, what we use now and how long I've been in education for 18 years. So um, I'm gonna say this was, this is definitely vintage. They're not the ones that are so popular right now because I can't find those, but that's the one thing, whenever you do find something at this vendor, you really don't have to worry about, you know, his stuff is not astronomical. So um, that will work until I find what I'm looking for. And then the last thing that we got from that vendor is um, this Courier and Ives serving bowl plate. It's not a plate and it's not really a bowl. It's kind of, I almost wonder if it's not like a pie dish, but I love the winter scene on there. So if you can now remember everything that we got, we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and nine, the nine cups, that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 items from this one vendor, and I paid $31. I did not say 310, I said $31 for all of that stuff. So this guy is amazing. He is not out to price gouge. Um, it kind of, his prices make me think that he probably just really enjoys going out and finding the treasures and um, being able to bring it to people and just kind of, you know, like he, he's great to talk to. He seems to get excited whenever he sees the excitement that I have. So I really like this vendor. He's, he's super nice. He's a good old country boy and I will buy from him all day long and I don't have to worry about, oh, what's my total getting up to? 
Um, and as a matter of fact, we went back to him a second time when we were leaving. That's when we got the cop the milk glass coffee mugs. And I asked him, I said, do you take the cards? I knew he was going to say no. And he was like, no, he's like, this old man only does cash. I was like, oh. I said, well, I only have $11. So, um, hopefully, uh, we don't find too much. But I said, we did find some milk glass cups. So the total was $12. And, I uh, was like, oh my gosh, well here, I have four quarters. And he was like, no, I don't just, we'll just do it at 11. And I, you know, I don't try to rip them off any more than I don't want them to ripping me off. And um, anyway, we finally, he settled for 11 and he said, but in the future, I want you to know you have credit with me. Like if you see something you want and you don't have, you know, enough cash or whatever on you, you just pay me the next time. Y'all, what kind of customer service is that? that is great customer service and i would never take advantage of that because you never know what's going to happen like something could happen and i could not get back there um so as sweet as that was for him to offer i will never do that but that just tells you what a great vendor he is i highly recommend him i don't know what his name is if you go to the nashville flea market he is always outside he's never under he's, well, he's always outside but then they have like covered almost like remind me of carports, but they're really long. He's he's never under one of those. He's just kind of out in the blazing sun or out in the cold. And you will recognize him because he just has rows and rows and rows of totes. Um, and you dig through them. So if you're in the Nashville area and you go to the flea market, check this guy out. He's going to have some really cool finds and he's going to have great prices. So now, next to him, we went to another vendor and... He, um, he kind of has similar things, but his are more like, he unpacks his, puts it on the table and stuff. And I usually always find a little something from him. Today, um, Greg found two pieces of milk glass. This is the piece, I guess, with that edging that he was talking about that that little piece matches. So he got this and this. And, um, I know this was 12, and I almost feel like this one was 12 too. So he's a little high, he's a little high. But um, Hobnail, if you're a fan of Hobnail, you realize Hobnail is not easy to find. Like, um, and if you do find it, Hobnail does cost more than that Westmoreland harvest pattern. So I'm not really sure why, but, and it's his week, his birthday, right? So I'm not gonna send everybody like, well, no, we can't get that. Now, one of my favorite finds, I think, not maybe of the day, but just in a while. So, as you can tell by some of the things I've showed y'all, I've really gotten into these old pictures. Even though when I first started this, I was like, I am not going to have pictures of dead people in my house. Well, that didn't last long, did it? But I found um, a metal negative today look at that oh and i have been looking for a couple like i have a man i have a woman i have kids um but i didn't have a couple together and i wanted a couple and i didn't care if they were young or old so i got that represents me and greg and i'm not sure if this is the flower frog that i'm going to put it in but you know my plans are just to kind of display it in a flower a flower frog like that in that jelly hutch so I was very, I have never seen one of these. I mean, I knew they existed, but I've never, ever seen. I don't, I mean, like I was blown away. I was very excited to find that. Um, so then we also are, Greg also, and he has been wanting this. And for the past um, two or three times that we've been, so today was finally the day. This is his birthday, right, y'all? It's his birthday. He found a milk glass decanter and it has the grapes on it. And this is cool. Like I, I've only seen this at this guy's booth at the flea market and at one antique store. Like milk glass decanters are just not common. You're not gonna go into any antique store and find these. So um, I was excited that he still had them and Greg snatched it up. So I told him, I said, you can't say you ain't got nothing for your birthday, even though nothing's wrapped up. Like I should take all this stuff and wrap it, shouldn't I? <laughs> His birthday was yesterday, so it has passed, but that would be fun and aggravating for me to do, wouldn't it? Um, 
I also found, now I don't know what my obsession has become. I don't know if it's because I have um, all my Liberty Blue dishes, but I finally found an affordable picture of old George. So I was very excited to find that. And it is like on wood. So I don't know how they did it. I don't know how old it is. I can't read the back. Um, it's too faded, but, uh, I mean, I can tell that the wood is old, so I'm, it's vintage. I'm not going to say it's antique. I don't know, but pretty sure it's not. Now I watch so many people on YouTube and can I just say that I am probably like a sheep, like they just, I just follow them anywhere and they definitely influence me. And so Penny and Kayla from, um, Oh, little Cahaba Junkin have these really cool egg ba egg gathering baskets, which I saw them today, but they were way out of my price range. So um, I saw this little egg basket and it was only $4. So it does kind of collapse. It doesn't stay collapsed or if it does, I, oh yeah, cool. Look at that. It does collapse all the way. I didn't know it did that. Um, I thought that would be really cute. Oh, look, I'm learning all kind of things to display somewhere with like some brown eggs. So I grabbed that. Now we got this spice rack um, at, from one vendor and we'll just put the spices as we collect them in there. It's not, you know, I'll probably ooh, put them here because this has a back to it. I didn't realize that one didn't. Um, so Greg only wants like six. He doesn't want 12. So I'm thinking that we could have spice, right? Either the spice bottles here or here. And then whichever opposite place would be another place that I can display, display some of my little um, bread and butter plates and saucer plates that I'm addicted to and that I pick up all the time that don't match anything. So that would be a cute little way to display um, the milk, you know, for obviously this and the plates. And it does hang on the wall, but I don't know that we'll hang it on the wall because I don't have any wall space to hang it on. Um, I just need to, like we always talk about, I need a bigger house to hold all my treasures. Uh, we talked and talked about this. We passed one up and then we saw this one and we just kept talking and certainly don't need it and would never use it and I wouldn't use 98% of this stuff but I do really like a lot of the primitive stuff I'm not gonna get a whole lot of it but because the primitive stuff is crazy expensive um, but I did have to go along copycat some of my girls from YouTube and I got a rug beater now, I'm thinking about hanging this in my kitchen. You can kind of see the wall space. Oh, you can't see where my finger's pointing, are you? So like right there above the platters is the vent system type thing. And I was kind of thinking about if I had more than if I, you know, can find another one at a good price or whatever, hanging them long ways um, on that. That might be a cool way to display the rug beaters. So we'll see, I don't know. It just depends on if I can find any more at a reasonable price. Now, along with my new thermos obsession, I found this one, which will be perfect for the fall, and it was only $5. So it had eight on there, and the guy was like, no, it's five, so snatch that up. Okay, so then the last thing that we bought, um, Greg got another, he says it's different. He said this one matches the decanter, and I guess it does, I don't know. But another milk glass, um, pitcher and it does now that I'm it totally matches the decanter so we'll have to find somewhere to display all that together so that is it that is my haul from Greg's birthday week um we've definitely had fun and you know we'll use any excuse to get out and treasure hunt so his birthday was the perfect time to do that uh we will be going up to we were planning on going up to Pigeon Forge to Dollywood. So, um, you know, it's just the wrong time of the year, guys. It's gonna be so hot. I'm already hot and we're not even there. 
but uh, we're just gonna spend the day there um, and then probably come back the next day. But by doing that, we sure are gonna cross a lot of little antique shops coming from East Tennessee. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, not so much the amusement park, but you know, you gotta have a little bit of balance and have some family fun in there. So anyway, so stay tuned. If you've stayed through for this haul, we are at 36 minutes, even though a lot of this will be edited out, the rummaging for stuff. Um, I'm going to put in a few scenes from uh, Bell Buckle because it's just such a cute little town. And I'm gonna, we had some of the most amazing country food at Bell Buckle Cafe. I think I may show you that. And I'm gonna just put pictures in of the way that I, the way things are styled. Now remember, you're not gonna see a lot of it. Some of it, um, like the spice rack, I don't, I'm not ready to show that. It'll be packed up until I can find all the things. Um, some of the seasonal things I won't have out. And again, if you just don't see things, it's cause I've just, I haven't quite found the perfect little home for it yet. So anyway, you guys have a great weekend. Get plenty of rest, but most importantly, make sure you do something fun. I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all. Thank you.